Hi, today I'm going to show how to use this new solution to create animation using OpenSCene, PostScene, Blender. To do it, you will need at least those files. OpenPose, OpenPose model to use with OpenPose, OpenScene, PostScene, that's in Python and some files I'm going to provide on my Patreon. One important thing is that I won't be showing the full process. You must download this open scene. You have to sign on the site to be able to download the file. I, I'm not going to show the full process because it would take too much, too long. But I have another video showing the parts that I'm not going to show the calibration, intrinsic and extrinsic part. If you want to use the one like use it on Easy Mob Cap, the post to scene library has also the option to calibrate it, but I didn't test. But let's go. First, you, you need a video, sync it one. I already sync it mine. It's this video, me at my house, doing some walking. Okay. I got two views, it's a test with two cameras. I already tested it, and the middle of the animation works fine, but the start and the finish, it's not very well, probably because of the setup, the low amount of cameras. If you have time and test, you can get much better results than I have. Okay, so the video is synced here. Now, what we have to do, we need a project folder. In this case, I am going to use this project folder. I have to create at least three folders, which is 2D, that's the folder for the calibration files. And I'm gonna use the ones I, I already used on Zimocap. The post 2D, that's for the conversion from open pose. And user. The user folder is going to be used to put this config file that I'm I already am providing. This is from post to scene, I, I guess. But when you install it, it gets in a odd place. So I'm providing here for easier to use, to be easier. Okay, so with this folders ready, I'm going to CMD and Find the folder where I have my open pose. For me, it works best the version 1.6. And I already made the, the path here, so you have to change it to your own path. It's the path of the project and the name of the file. And in the right JSON, it's the path of the project plus post 2D and the pose cam. If you have two cameras, you're gonna have to use pose cam 1 and pose cam 2. Let me run it. It will take a while because open pose. Even using GPU, it's not that fast. I'm gonna pause it. The first video was done. I'm gonna do it for the second video. And I'm gonna pause again until it's finished. And it's about to finish. Okay, 
let's continue you considering you already have the post to seem installed you need to go to the Python part so I'm gonna go to my folder project in this case I'm using Anaconda here it's okay here are the files okay now I have to run Python and let me get okay one thing I forgot to tell I, I'm not going to explain here how to do the intrinsic and the extrinsic calibration I already have the link on here I'm gonna provide the link so I'm gonna grab another calibration I already have from another project it's actually the same project but I did with four cameras so I'm gonna grab these these are created using easy mocap I'm gonna add inside this folder so here you have the path the project calib 2d that's the folder I'm in, and entry, the intrinsic calibration file, and x3, the extrinsic calibration file. So I'll grab this lines of code and run inside Python after having the post to lib installed. <coughs> oh, sorry. In my case, I using Anaconda and I installed a virtual environment just for post to sim. You don't have to but it's a good practice. And now it can load the project, the package and it works. So here it's the calibrated file ready to use with post to sim. Now we do run this command to load the post to sim package. It's loaded and I can do these steps to create the rest of the needed data. PS dot track to it's going to use the open pose data it created here it's going to do the triangulation between all the cameras that you've got in my case two cameras it takes a little bit to start not too much, so I won't even pause. And that's done now to finish. Filter 3D. It's going to use the triangulated data and it's going to smooth it, remove some artifacts. At the end, it's going to show a graph comparing the original data, triangulated, and the filtered one. And here it is. You can see the filtered is the orange one. Here you got lots of noise, which cleans up. You can see for all the parts how it's done. But this we are not going to use. So here the part using post to scene has ended. Now we are going to open scene. We're going to load the model, open model. Uh, you got to use you got to have this OSIM file and the geometry subfolder. It's provided in the zip file. It also provided by the post to scene, but it's hidden inside some Python folders so I provide it for easier to access. Okay so I loaded 
the model. Now we go to tools, inverse kinematics. We're going to load another file, the IK marker setup post to sim that is also provided. It's this one is also provided by the post to sim, but I had to make a change to be able to import it in Blender. So this one you have to use the one I provided or else it won't work. Open, it's gonna throw an error because this file doesn't exist. But we are going to change to the ones that I we've created just now. It's in the post 3D folder. You have two options. Choose the last one. It's the filtered one. Open. You choose the amount, the the time range that you're gonna need. I like to put it a high number, but he automatically sees what's the the range. Let's let me choose the where it's going to be exported. I'm gonna leave it in the pose treaty. But to be honest, this this file we are not going to use. We're going to use another file that is going to be created. I just don't remember why it's going to be created. I guess it's on the same folder that is the XML file loaded here. Let's see when it finishes. You're gonna have to use an STO file. You can see here the preview of the file on open pose. Not open pose open scene, sorry. And it's done. Let me see where is the oh here. The STO file and I need it is this one. It's located on the same file of the IK marker that you loaded. So I can close and close and now we are going to blender. Use the this is the blend file I provided and you have to change the folder here on this line, seventh line. You get the the path, in this case, the path for the STO file. It's this one, copy and paste inside the codes. Wait. So I changed it and I can press run. So it's going to load the data. And that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.